Hey guys, Optimus Prime 86 here for video number four in our video series on the Power of the Prime Dinobot combining uh, set. So today we are reviewing our friend Slag, or as they want to call him in this line, Slug. Um, for those of you who might be curious, why the change of name? Well, if you haven't heard yet, um, in the um, in Europe, I guess in the UK. It is referred, or it, slag is used as a term that refers to what we would call here in North America a slut. So basically it's derogatory term towards women who like to have sex. And so for me, it never had that connotation. It's basically molted, melted metal, scrap metal, and, you know, gets turned into slag. And that's where that name came from. And for me, that's the name that will stick. Call it, call it however you want to call it. But for me, this is slag. So without further ado, let's start the review. So with, just like the other bot, the upgrade kit, the TCW06 from uh, Transform Dreamwave that we're going to review in video six comes with a single weapon for the bot, which is in this case a sword since he comes with a gun already in the packaging. So... This is custom painted. It comes black. I wanted to make a cryo sword for this one. So that's the weaponry that I went for. And then he has his base gun that comes in the packaging from Asbro that I have not touched since it's part of the figure originally. Now, <clears throat> in bot mode, let's have a look. Or in dinosaur mode, I guess, the Triceratop. Again, pretty reminiscent of G1. Not, you know, not... Exactly, but very, very inspired by the G1 uh, dinosaurs. And let's put him into bot mode. So, this comes down to reveal his head, this, the jaw. The legs <clears throat> will unfold like a few previous of the Dinobots. There we go. The tail will fold up, fold around, and then store in. Same thing on the other side, like this. Just like the other ones as well, there's a tab on one of the on the lower leg, and there is a slot on the leg to peg that in in place. There we go, nice and neat. As well, like the other one, the hands unfold from the forearms. Ooh, come on. And there we have it. And with him, since he has two hands and two weapons, you can have gun in one hand, sword in the other. Oh, et voila. So in bot mode, let's have a look. Again, very nice and detailed. I really like this set. Um, it's a set that I really not do not regret purchasing. Um, mine, I... Purchased that uh, Walmart piece by piece as they started showing up on shelf and eventually I had the entire kit. I did not go for Slash, I think it's its name, the little tiny one. Um, because it's not part of the original. I didn't have any sentimental attachment to that figure. And it doesn't fit in the combiner as well. There is a few fan mode online, but it does not have its actual spot in the combiner. So I did not really care for it. In terms of articulation, so this one is one of the one I think Grimlock might also do have full rotation 360 at the shoulder. It does go up and down as well, just like the other. There's a 360 rotation there. There is a not exactly 180, but more than 90 degrees uh, bend at the elbow, but nothing at the wrist like the other ones. This one that the head does move, but because of the uh triceratop beak or mouth i guess that's there it does restrain uh the range of movement we do have rotation at the hip we have 180 degree also at the hip there we uh, not at the hip sorry uh, at the waist we have rotation but at the hip we have 180 movement on the leg it does go up but not fully the ball joint is obstructed by the mold here uh, we do have the 360 rotation here, the 90 degree bend at the knee, but no ankle tilt like the other ones. 
Now, in order to get him into limb mode. So this is going to get closed. This whole section is going to get raised and pushed back in order to be able to raise this part. Here we go. <clears throat> then the hands are going to be folded in. There we go. This section is going to be together sideways like it was with our bird. Um, now, let me see. Does this one have a tab? Let me check something real quick because I can't remember how the legs go that way. So we're have to make the, the arm here with this guy, so that's already there. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's it, just like that. Into its side. So fold them in as much as you can, basically, and just fold them up first as much as you can, and then fold them in backwards as much as you can. This goes like such. Yeah, that's right. One sec. I'm going to have it this way. Okay, there we go. The, oh, I also forgot the head, sorry, is like that when it's pushed back, and it also has to be brought down like this, so it stays in place and doesn't move back. And then, they, I believe, oh no, that's right. So these are going to be the side, and then you want to take the hand. So we'll take the one that has the matrix and we want to put it like this. It should be like Here, one sec, let me try it. There we go. It has a bit more bend this way. And I know that they want the top of the hand to be this comp this place here, but it's my toy. I'm going to display it the way I want to, as Emgo would say. So I would prefer it this way because if we put it the way that they tell us to, it only bends there. It doesn't actually bend over here. If we do put it the way that I like, it, it has the bend that they give us, but it also has that extra bend here. So it adds one bendy part to make it more poseable. And that would be my tip. So here he is in limb mode, which is the arm in this case. In my formation of the limb. And in our fifth next and next video, we are going to review our band leader grimlock so please stay tuned he is my favorite dinobots and um he is also the main part of this combiner he has he is the torso which is going to join all the other parts so stay tuned another great review coming up with our good friend 
grim luck so thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the review please hit the like button subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new content this is optimus prime 86 rolling out